I don't want to do a show feeling like you've just had Sunday lunch. I want you to feel repulsed or exhilarated. He absorbed everything and he sort of brought it all into his fashion. Going to the depths of one's mind, you start losing who you are. McQueen explores the personal and professional life of the late Lee Alexander McQueen, who committed suicide in 2010 at the age of 40. I wasn't very good at school. I was always drawing clothes. It's a rags to riches tale of how McQueen turned fashion on its head by incorporating his misfit status and inner demons into his designs. The darkness created genius. Terry Hart spoke with the documentary's filmmakers about presenting McQueen's designs as inextricable from his psychology. We wanted to make a, a film about a person that worked in the fashion industry. We didn't want to make a fashion film. We always told ourselves that we it was emotion over information. So we wanted the, the, the audience to go on an emotional journey. Nobody could create emotions like McQueen. Put into context who Lee Alexander McQueen was to the fashion world and the art world. He was a kind of revolutionary. I mean, you know, we had one, one of our interviewees said, you know, what you have to realize about McQueen is that each generation of fashion designers might produce someone who changes the silhouette. Um, and McQueen, in his first two years, changed the silhouette three times. I mean, we saw McQueen as, uh, a, as an artist. We saw him as a kind of a Picasso of his generation, if you will. Hey, there you go. <laughs> It's a jungle out there. How much did you know going in? I think we knew the, the, uh, the outline of the story because that's really what inspired us to, to make it. But I think that every interview revealed him in a slightly different light that was unexpected. He was loved and I think this is something that we we were impressed again and again by because a lot has been written about his darker side, uh, his the way he wanted to shock people, the sensationalism. They told him it was impossible and he said no it's not, you can do it. And that's what he did, he did the impossible. McQueen is in select theaters Friday. Coming up tomorrow, a look at Jason Statham's latest, The Meg. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.